at Home Radio, creator and presenter, Kate Jones. Music, video, produced by Jonathan, the producer. Welcome to At Home Radio, a welcoming space for insights, truths, and frivolities. I'm Kate Jones, and today I'm talking to artist Ben Small. So, and, you, and then your third book came out in 2018, and it's Bushwa Unbound. Bushwa Unbound, nonsense, yeah. nonsense, let loose. You know. So, yeah, so describe that a little bit. Well, that one is called Bushwa Unbound because uh, I, I think uh, my first two books kind of failed at telling the stories I really wanted to tell. And I had all these other ideas for different stories. So what I do in Bushwa Unbound is just have like sketches or drawings or approaches to, to all, like five or six different uh, ideas for books. And I just put those down. So I kind of basically did whatever the heck I wanted to do in this book. And uh, I just said, you know, I'm just drawing as many drawings as I want to do. I'm going to do a whole bunch of them and just throw them into a melange, you know, into this book and and see what happens. So I just think I I have one of your books in my possession, but I definitely want to get the one, the Art Nouveau one, and um, and I just uh, I just think you do they're fun, but they are in limited supply, right? You haven't um, they haven't come in. You haven't done huge runs of them. Oh God, no! <laughs> no, no, they're self-published and they cost a lot to to produce. So uh, uh, I, it's they're extremely limited. I mean, I, I only have like six of them left. So oh, and they wow. they co cost too much. I, I I would need like a backer to if I wanted to print more of those. So right, um, right. Well, maybe you'll find one because they're really wonderful and so much so much fun. Anyway, and, and so if people Google you again, they can find these, at least the pictures of the books on online. Right. That's right. Okay, good. Now, how, how in the world do you produce this art? What is your process? Well, right now what I'm doing is um, a pen and ink. Uh, the books were all, I did them all on computer. So what you're seeing there is a, not, not even a drawing pad. It's a clicking the mouse a 10 trillion times making the drawings, you know. So they're all, they're completely digital. What I'm doing now is a, a pen and ink. And uh, what I do is like I, I show you the black and white drawing here. That's a, I set like a, I, I sit down like these basic shapes and then I just put in, as much detail as I think is right, and I, I love detail, so draw, draw, draw like crazy. Mm -hmm. Then I then I scan them in my my uh, scanner right here, and uh, it's uh, pretty small, and the, the things are like eighteen by twenty four, so that's a lot of work scanning them in. Anyhow, once I get them scanned, I color them in Photoshop. Then, so they exist digitally, and you know, and then I get prints made of them. So they kind of live in both worlds, okay. and that. But they are hand drawn now. That's that's what I'm doing. So they're they're messier, but uh, I think they have a warmer feel <laughs> than the books did. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm really into this now, and I'm doing just large, you know, just just big po posters and whatever comes out of my head. You know, it's uh, um, I'm it's like I say, bushel unbound. I'm unbound. I just don't. I, I don't have anybody to draw for and that, and I just draw whatever I want to draw. So it's a it's a wonderful thing. That's great. What is bushwa? Nonsense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, it's an old. It, I like Edwardian days. So that's an old Edwardian term. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like a humbug and all that sort of thing. Okay. Very yeah. good. Yeah. So, why do you make art? What do I? Excuse me. Why do you make art? Why do you do art? Oh, um, I make art because it comes out of my head. I, I make art. I'm just a drawing machine. I just cannot stop drawing. Um, you know, uh, Winsor McKay, who is a, 
and Marty, an artist too, you know, from back in the 18, early 1900s, he said, I, 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 he was a big success, but he said it didn't matter because he was just drawing to draw. He was just, just, just making those drawings. And, uh, that's kind of what I do. I, I am not a big success. I have not sold many prints because, and maybe one reason is I don't do things that people want to see. I don't, I don't do, uh, I do what I want to see, you know, and, uh, and I just, just keep churning them out. I can't stop. And, and it really, you know, it's made like this, this COVID time to me uh, so much better. I don't know what I would do if I didn't draw, you know, I'd go crazy, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, I just, uh, just keep a, a vision pops in my head. You know, when I was in college, uh, I had a, <laughs> a teacher who said, uh, draw a lyrical vision. And uh, coming out of high school, you know, I'm 18, like, lyrical vision, what are you talking about like that? And it's taking me this long to say, yeah, I know exactly what she means now. I, I, I've got a shape. I've got a thing. I've got a, a movement I want to show. That's a lyrical vision. That's something that I want to put on paper that goes beyond representing a, a barn or a dog or something like that. It, it, it's, it's the shape. It's, it's the, you know, it's an abstract movement form that I want to show oh. and it's kind of interesting where it almost you know when I watch choreographers work they want to see a shape they want to see a movement and that they want the arm and the hands to do a certain thing mm-hmm. and over the years I've learned exactly what they're talking about because that's what I want to see I want to see certain things take on a certain form mm-hmm. and it's just it's life fulfilling to me yes that's so, wonderful yeah well, you also have a regular gig. Uh, since eight, 1984, you've made a living as a graphic designer. So how did you, you get started in that line of work? Um, it was the closest thing to drawing, you know, and that that I could find, but you could make a living at it. You know, like I said, I can't, I can't make a living drawing. So um, it's, uh, it was took an artistic eye. And, you know, we worked together back in the day when we had the, the golden age of live public, uh, Northern Ohio Live. And, uh, we, we would go together and in, you appreciated my eye and I appreciated your input and in design and that kind of thing. So, uh, it's, it's a, it's a good, good living. I really enjoy it quite a bit. Yes. You know, working with, with nice people like you and, you know. <laughs> Well, that's very nice of you to say, Ben. And and that goes into how graphic design differs from the way you do your own art. And mm-hmm. a whole lot of that is that collaboration. Right. And then people would say, well, I, I do very graphic art. My my art is, is very graphic. It's this lay down the black the black boom pan and that kind of thing. It's not painterly, it's not you know, that kind of thing. But, uh, it's, it's what I do and, you know, what the, they, they sort of fed each other, you know, in a way. So. Yeah. And you are really great to work with too. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> that's why you won best magazine in Ohio back then, right? That's right. The one and only time, right? That's right. right. Yeah. 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 It was a great magazine. I really, yeah. I, I enjoyed those years. Yeah. Me too. So on your Facebook page, you describe yourself as a graphic artist, cat owner, and bloviating plutocrat. A bloviating plutocrat. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, total sarcasm. Because uh, <laughs> you know who was in office uh, when, uh, when I wrote that, and uh, <laughs> it was just... Uh, I was just having fun with, with that. That's, that's again, complete bourgeois. And, yes, uh, and that could be just about any politician, right? <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <or another. laughs> that's true, right. Yes, that's so mm-hmm. true. That, I, I really like that. And that's your your playfulness with words, too. And that's yeah. what comes through on your websites, on your, in your books and everything, you know, and yeah. in person. Yeah, I, I love archaic words, and I love, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the language. I'm not a master of it by any terms, but um, I really, I, I love reading. I, I'm reading classical literature all the time, and, you know, I really, really appreciate a great writer. Uh, so just sort of mimic them when I write <laughs> or try to. 
You do a good job with it, for sure. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like people to know um, about art in general or about your art specifically? Uh, I think we pretty much covered it. Um, you know, it's uh, I, I like them to buy it. If, if anyone out there has a uh, an empty gallery, I've got 50, 50 odd uh, works of art, my, my idea of art, to uh, to fill it up. So uh, that's the main thing I need is a, is a place to show it. You right. Know. It's kind of tough in these times, too. It is, okay. yeah. Going to art galleries. Um, right. I don't know. I mean, I know I, I've been a member of the museum, and they've had to resort to all kinds of, you know, uh, ways to get people to in, to stay engaged. Right. Yeah, exactly. So uh, anyhow, but we'll, we'll be coming through this eventually. And maybe somebody, yeah. if somebody's listening. I'd, I'd love to show them more of the stuff. And uh, yeah, if you could uh, give them the link to the, uh, to the website so they know what I'm, what I'm blathering about here, that'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> blathering is a good word. Bla the yeah, blather is yeah stuff. I I I've always said I don't like artists blathering on about their works. And how, how long how long have been going on now? About you know half hour now. So seems like no time at all. Yeah. Um, another word I like, another B word is bamboozle. I use that one a lot. You know, don't right. let them bamboozle you. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's just not hear it enough. <laughs> yeah. Faldy Rowell, yeah. Was it? Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of good ones, yeah, for nonsense. Words are wonderful. And your your art, back to that, you know, is that is in um, is in art what the words are, you know. I mean, it reflects those kind of words, that kind of attitude, that kind of um, – it's, it's just that fun way of looking at life. And even, even in the darker – pieces there's still there's something that's so pleasing about them well one thing i try to i try to do you know when and uh to bring in another medium to, to bring in another medium is so uh, music is is so important and you know i'm such a cornball i'll uh i'll put on if i'm doing our nouveau kind of thing i'll put on wc and Ravel. And I'll listen to that. My favorite composers, I just love that stuff. And they're from they're from that time in Paris, you know, and uh, just just love that. I'll, I'll play that music while I'm drawing, you know, oh, swirls and that kind of thing. And it's just like it's how, so funny how that all all fits together, you know, mm -hmm. you know a visual representation of, of of that kind of music, you know, that that kind mm -hmm. of. Uh, feeling you know from from that time no wonder that works so well it's almost like it's flowing through the ink you know well, into the well, work yeah look at look at uh, art nouveau look at look at uh, uh, alphonse mocha uh, uh google alphonse mocha um and you'll see hair and you'll see s s things represented with these swirls and this and these beautiful undulating lines and it's like that's exactly what the music did at that time too Wow, so I like that. It all comes together, you know. Yes, very good. Well, it has been a pleasure seeing you and talking with you, Ben. Really, and thank you very much for being here and for your insights and your stories. Thank you for having me. It's been a delight. This is At Home Radio. Until next time, thanks for joining us.